If one person in your business has dragged a folder that they own into a shared drive, they might not own all the files inside that folder. And so it's only going to move their files that they own from that folder, and it's going to leave all the other files kind of in limbo in your My Drive. My business partner always had our folder for our business in her My Drive, same as me, and could access it from there. Now she only sees our business folder in Shared Drive, but some of our business files have randomly shown up in each of our My Drives. Oh, that is a very, very interesting one. And I know exactly what has gone on here. When you've originally stored your files and documents inside your My Drive and you're switching over to using Google Shared Drives, an interesting process happens. You switch the ownership of a file into the shared drive. And so if we have a My Drive folder here, inside that folder, you're gonna have a bunch of individual files. And let's just imagine that the lines that I've drawn here are your individual files. Now, each one of those files can either be created by you. So I'm gonna put PM here and PM here and PM here. But if you've actually shared this folder from your My Drive, out to someone else, and it may even be sitting inside their My Drive, right? So this is Bob's My Drive. Well, what can actually happen is that Bob might place a file inside your drive. And so you own the folder, but Bob owns the file. Isn't that crazy, huh? And this is where we run into the issue where maybe Bob has a Gmail account, he's created files for you as a contractor, one day he deletes those files and they disappear from your My Drive. Let's talk about how we transition then to a shared drive. So shared drives are a new feature from Google which give you some pretty cool features like the ability to set up a file where people can add files and folders but they can't delete them. So this is a shared drive. And this shared drive is actually owned by the company. So I'm gonna call this shared drive itgenius.com. If I place something in there from my My Drive, let's say I go to my My Drive and I drag and drop something into the shared drive, I no longer own the file. Now that file is owned by IT Genius. It's owned by the shared drive owner. If Bob puts a file in from his My Drive, then IT Genius is now the owner of that file. Now, what happens when we're in this situation here, right? And we've got a mix of all these files and folders. I'm, I'm using some of them in my drive and my colleague is using some of them in, my, in their drive. Maybe it's a business partner, maybe it's someone outside your business. And we migrate them down to a shared drive. Well, you're only allowed to move the files that you own. And Bob is only allowed to move the files that Bob owns. And so if one person in your business has dragged a folder that they own into a shared drive, they might not own all the files inside that folder. And so it's only going to move their files that they own from that folder and it's going to leave all the other files kind of in limbo in your my drive so if you're going through this migration process of moving from my drives to a shared drive both people need to actually move each of their files folders and all their stuff into the shared drive and once everything lives in the shared drive it is then owned by the company and it's very very simple to know once it's owned by the company then it's just all in one place and it's all owned by that domain name so let's go and have a look at what that looks like inside of google drive you can see here i've got a bunch of different shared drives inside my google drive drive. And if you don't see the shared drives option here, it means that either no one has shared a shared drive with you, or you may not be on the right plan on Google Workspace. If you want to create a Google shared drive, you need to be actually on the business standard plan to get access to this feature. So if you're on the starter plan, it doesn't work. You have to be on the business standard plan to access shared drives. But once you access shared drives, you can create drives that people outside your company can use. So if you've got a Gmail account, or maybe you're a contractor to another business, if you're not the owner of the shared file, you don't have to be on a business plan to access it, which is a pretty cool feature. So when I've got a shared drive here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the shared drive here for our attract team, which is our marketing team. And I go to manage members. Now, ITG 
Genius is the owner of this. And so I can choose who has access to this. You can see here, I've got a contractors file and I've chosen for a contractors group to be a contributor, meaning they can add and edit files, but they can't delete files. So they can put things in, but they can't take things out. Very useful. You can see here that our internal marketing team are content managers. They can add, they can edit, they can move and they can delete, but they can't change the people. They can't change who's on this actual file. And it's only the managers, which you can see is the executive group. It's only the managers that have the ability to actually change people or to change the settings on the shared drive. Very cool feature. So that's how you set up a shared drive. Now, that's what it looks like if you're the owner of the file. What about if you're the person that it's being shared to, right? What if you're the receiver and you're outside the company? Well, you'll see some of the ones that I've been shared here. So some of these are owned by Onsite Helper. Some of them are owned by Performance Direct. Some of them are owned by Moriarty.co. And so these are all shared drives that other companies have created. And if I have the right permissions, I can put files into those shared drives, but then I'll no longer be the owner of that file. So back to this process here and what this looks like, remembering we are moving files from our My Drives into the shared drive. And when you do that, that looks like taking a file and moving it into a shared drive. And I can go to any old file here. I can right click and I can say move to, or if I want, I can even drag and drop. And when I go and drag and drop a file into a shared drive, it's gonna prop up and it's gonna prompt me are you gonna change the ownership to this shared drive? You're gonna lose access and everyone who can access that shared drive is gonna gain access. Do you want to do that? I'm gonna hit the cancel and move out of that because I don't want to actually change it. So that's how you manage migrating into a shared drive. Person who asked the original question here has obviously dragged and dropped. When they've dragged and dropped, they've ended up in a situation where all of the files or partial files have been moved, but each person needs to go and just clean up the other files that they own and move them down. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.